Hi there, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. Um, I'm going to talk today briefly through the new version of our percussion library, version 4, or Redux we're calling it. Um, we've redesigned the GUI and added a whole load of functionality and features that you would find uh, familiar from the other Albion series of libraries. So. Without further ado, let's go through what everything does. You have here the usual mic controls um, that you can click underneath to enable or disable them. You can also drag the slider to enable them. And if you drag it all the way down to nothing, it will disable them. So again, uh, that works very much the same way as it does in Albion. Um, Purge unused is switched on by default, and this, this unloads from memory anything that you're not currently using. Here are the articulations, so you can see uh, down here it tells you um, what you're about to do. So switch to bongo hits, switch to bongo rolls, switch to bongo swells. If you want to enable these articulations, you just uh, click on the memory button underneath these, and you can unclick to unload them from memory and disable them. So you can click on these on the front panel, or you can use the key switches to, to, to switch between those. Uh, transpose self-evident cc1 map to velocity so if you wanted to use your mod wheel instead of the um, velocity dynamics for the hits then you can click that and that will enable the mod wheel um, round robins you can uh, drag this up and down to uh, if you want to have a really lean set of patches for your writing on your laptop you can put all the round robins down to um, down to one and just use that like that um, and then there's a reset uh, control for the round robins. You can also reset on transport by clicking this which every time you stop or start your transport on your sequencer that will reset the round robins to the beginning again. So that's incredibly useful um, there. We have, I'll come back to the uh, lock key in a second, we have the release volume control here is a slider. Oh, the, the microphone uh, sliders are by default set to CCs 22, 23 and 24, which matches up with Albion as well. The default for the release volume slider, um, this basically changes the uh, release samples for things like the rolls. It's mapped to CC 17 by default, um, but you can, so you can change that. Obviously, you can change all of these by right clicking um, and or control clicking on the Mac and remove remove CC automation and then relearn something new. Dynamics is um, defaults to the CC1. That's the dynamic level for rolls, trims, rubs, etc. And then the expression is set to CC11 and that controls the overall volume of the patch. It's an additional volume control instead of CC7, which as we know has some problems with some sequences if you've got a multi loaded up here. Um, CC7 sometimes changes the volume of everything that's that's loaded up there. So we provide 11, which is the expression control, as an alternative overall volume control. Um, custom velocity map, um, it's linear by default, and it's linear if you turn that off. So at any stage you can turn that off or just reload the patch if you've messed it up. But you can draw in here, using your mouse, um, a different uh, response curve, you know, literally anything you can you can imagine. Um, to get it exactly how you want it and then you would save down um, and the, the best way to do that to make sure you don't save over something actually if you just do save as it'll it'll um, there's a possibility you might save over so you could click the key to unlock the patch and then save as here I'll give you a, a full option to um, to save it as whatever you want so you could make your own different curves and then save those all down as separate presets if you want to go back you just um, either reload the patch or just switch off custom velocity altogether and it goes back to linear default now unlocked articulation here articulations uh, we, the, basically we have three positions for this so unlocked means that you can freely switch with the key switches or the icons in the UE locked articulations means that you can't change articulation at all um, so that's if you want to load three versions of the bongos patch and have one set to hits one set to trams um, swells I mean and one set rolls or however you want to call it and swells um, you can set those all individually uh, and then lock them so they can't be changed so that's the best way to do that but if you want to do locked key switches that means that your articulations can't be changed by the key switches but can be changed by clicking the UE icons so that's an alternative if you want to uh, disable the key switches and make sure that you can't accidentally hit them while you're working that's an alternative way of doing things there 
Now, if we go over to this side, the spanner, this is which page you're on. The spanner is our default um, configuration page. If we go to this page, we'll see that we have a new function here, which is called the rhythm matrix, which is kind of like a rhythm sequencer. Um, so going from left to right again, we've got the same mic controls. We leave those there, useful to have those access to those while you're in the rhythm matrix as well. Um, the pull down here you see is set to inactive, which means the matrix is switched off. But it also has eight rhythms that you can program in. And then you can either select them from using this uh, pull down here, or you can control them with key switches by enabling that in the in one of the rhythms and then picking what key switch it's going to be. Um, so you click in these boxes to set a hit. It's subdivided into four by default and with the speed multiplier set to one, which is again the, the default, then for example with this you would have one hit on every beat, um, whatever the beat subdivision is of your sequencer. So um, now there are, all, there are lots of things that you can do here. Um, if you command click in this box up here and drag up and down, you'll see that you can move that slider. That changes the percentage of the velocity that that hit would take place at. And again, that refers to the, the, dynamic, the kind of overall velocity with which you hit the key that you're using, um, you know, whichever hit that is for the, for the rhythm matrix to operate on. Um, You've got here, you've got copy, paste, uh, load and save. You can copy and paste between patches. So you could copy, you could set up a sequence here and then copy it and paste it into another patch um, underneath. That's one way of doing things. So for example, if you had the toms loaded up here, you could then paste into the toms. Or you can load and save um, to keep backups of things or for kind of um, safety cost. Or, or indeed, to actually share rhythms, you could share rhythms with people as well. So, one of the other things you can do is to change the overall speed. So let's come back to that. So if I doubled the speed multiplier, then instead of getting one hit on every beat here with this pattern I've got, I would get two hits per beat. And then again, three, four, you just, you can change that to kind of give you, a, um, you know, to, to make the subdivisions basically more detailed within each, each beat. Um, again, you click in here to kind of turn things on and off. If you um, click in the command key or control on the PC, make sure I get this, this right, then and then click in one of the boxes, you change the length of the sequence. So you can use that, for example, if we wanted a three beat sequence, I know that that's the, um, let's turn these all off so you can see where the subdivisions are. If we wanted a three beat sequence, then I could shorten that to there and that's that would be looped around here. Um, and again, you could set that to triplets using the speed multiplier or there's lots of different options for how you how you set the kind of complexity of things in there. So I think that explains everything. Hopefully that um, it's really just a case of kind of loading it up and having a play. Um, and you'll get it. It's actually very simple to use. So you'll get it quite quite straightforward um, and you can drag along here as well so um, if we get to, if we want to drag along you want to put a five beat sequence in you've got five beats there so very very flexible um, and uh, again up to eight rhythms per per patch so um, with in combination with the key switches for to control the, the different rhythms You've got a, a very powerful tool there for creating some interesting rhythmic textures. So I hope that explains everything that we've put into the Percussion Redux package. It's a free update for anybody who has our percussion library. The updates will be going out today. Today is the 1st of October, so we'll gradually be um, sending those out as we get through the day. Um, and I hope you all enjoy playing with this free update. Thank you for your support of Spitfire, and we'll see you on the next one.